Welcome to the Norfolk Tank Museum. Restoration and maintenance video vlogs. This is our chieftain, O2 EB05. We've been doing some maintenance to her over the winter and she's now back up and running. As part of that maintenance pro um, project, we noticed the engine is now getting to high hours. It was a little bit concerning knowing the problems the Leyden L60 had when they were in service. So we're going to now investigate and rebuild one of the takeout engines we purchased a few years ago. Well this is a notorious Leyland L60 two-stroke vertically opposed multi-fill diesel engine. That means it has two cranks. One crank, the exhaust crank, is at the top of the engine. A second crank is the inlet crank at the bottom of the engine. We have 12 pistons, six cylinders, and we have two pistons meeting the middle of each cylinder to, com to create a compression ignition engine. We have a whopping great, huge supercharger on the side of the engine. That forces air into the combustion chamber. We also have a power pack now. The power pack means the radiators, the fans, everything are built into the engine. So when you come along and service your Chieftain tank, you lift the whole engine out, plonk a new one in, off the tank goes, this engine goes back to workshops and be rebuilt. That's what we're planning to do with this one. This is a takeout engine and we're now going to rebuild it. We also have a heat exchanger on the side of the engine. That heat exchanger balances the temperature between the oil and the water. We'll talk about that one in a little while. This is a Lazy L60 now stripped down to the last nuts and bolts. This is the main block. Crank at the top of the engine. You can see where the crank sits in the, in the top of the engine there. That's the exhaust crank by the way. Inlet crank sits at the bottom of the engine there. Now got a supercharger bolting onto the side of the engine here, forces the air into each cylinder. Exhaust, exhaust ports here. Got two injectors per cylinder. Water jacket bolted on the side there. Water jacket up here. And you've got an oil drain from the top crank, which drains back down into the bottom sump. We don't have a sump on this engine. It's a dry sump and it's a remote oil tank and a remote oil filter, oil pump, sorry. Right, here's a liner we'll be taking out of the engine. When we took this engine in bits, we discovered that number one piston has seized and was, seized, was actually physically stuck in the liner. What we actually discovered was that the heat exchanger we talked about a minute ago has split, let the water out of the engine, engine had overheated because there was no water in the engine, and then it picked up. Number one piston had seized, and this is what's happened. You can see if you look down them, well you won't probably see it on the camera but the pistons have got seized in here but as it's overheated it's melted the lead out of the holes here that's how hot it's got I'll explain, I'll explain one of the um, liners to you now this is the liner, pistons going at the top, top and bottom inlet ports, exhaust ports, injector ports Water is in this section here, and this top section here, and the water is allowed to drain through these holes into the middle section, hence it is overheated. These lead, lead little blocks have, have actually come unstuck, and they're, they're now buggered. This line has now got to be written off and put in the scrap bin, and we've got to find another liner. This is a good liner, and you can see all the lead fillers are all still in place. And here we have a piston now. This is a piston, not out of this engine. This is a K-series little 1600 engine out of a car. And a comparison, that's a piston out of a Chieftain engine. Balance the two together, you can see the difference. And they're bloody heavy, I'm not gonna hold on to that for too long. Another comparison, this is the crank out of this engine, that's a crank out of a K-series engine as well. So you can compare both Leyland engines, crank out of, a crank out of the L60, crank out of the K-series engine. As we go further into rebuilding this engine, we're going to do other videos of it, and we're going to talk about putting it back together, how it works, etc. in more detail. Thank you for watching our short video on the Leyland L60 engine. Please follow us on social media for more videos of tank restoration, engine rebuilds, videos of Deborah 2, 
and everything else that will be going on in the museum.